Welcome back to Shotoku Tech. Today I'm going to be using microblocks on the M5 Stack Atom Matrix. It's an ESP32 development board. And we're going to see if we can do multitasking on an ESP32. Do you think it's possible? Let's find out. So here, the cool thing about microblocks is it's live code. I can run code while the board is plugged in. I haven't written anything to it. You see here I've got a simple forever loop with tilt XYZ on the graph and the graph is lit up and running. And I'm going to tilt this around and you can see the graph is responding to the motion of the board. You look down here, I'm moving it around a little bit. That's pretty cool. So I'm going to stop this for the moment. I'm going to clear the graph. So let's do something that I bet you can't do in any other IDE. I'm going to go over here into control and I'm going to grab another forever block and set it right next to the original forever block. So that's like two void loops essentially in the same program. Now I'm going to go to, let's go to scrolling and I'm going to grab scroll text. I don't know who Rosa is, but that message isn't so useful for my purposes so much. So I'm going to get something a little more useful for our demonstration here. There we go. ESP32 multitasking. That seems like that's going to be interesting. So I'm going to click back over here. We're going to fire this up. You can see that this forever loop is lit green. And of course, we've got the graph responding to the motion of the board. When you see down here, when we're moving the board. Now I'm going to click over here on this forever loop. And it's lit green too. And you can see right now the message ESP32 multitasking is scrolling across the screen. And the graph is responding to the motion of the board all at the same time. So I would suggest that with this possibility of having two forever loops in the same program that we're actually indeed multitasking on an ESP32 development board using microblocks. So let me know what you think in the comments down below and thank you very much. So make sure to check all the links in the description down below. Please subscribe, check out some of these other videos and thank you very much. Thank you for watching Shotoku Tech. Please subscribe, comment, like, and share.